Hello and welcome back. We're starting again. I'm still running my build. And, um, yeah, let's randomize a new name. I have something I can pronounce. Nimushram. Nimushram is fine. I'm gonna do another Salt Dunes village. I need to mix it up a bit. I, I am, uh... I'm tired of these worlds, the these humans and their problems. But, um, yeah. No, I, it was a salty episode last time. I was, I was a little, I'm, I'm still salty about it, to be honest. That last death kind of sucked as well. What do we, we have our Isakari uh, banner, so we are on good terms with the Isakari. I think, uh, doesn't our, like... What um, is our mutated human nom nomad? I can't remember. Don't they start with a little bit of reputation with the Isakari? So like also starting in the salt dunes means you can be on good terms with them. That's actually really nice because there is um, quite a few legendary Isakari layers. And if you can potentially make friends with some Isakari that, you know, have good reputation like ideally here's what i'd like to do here is my plan here's my plan um is explore for step one explore the entire salt dunes step two um make a note of all of the layers to legendary isakari Step three, make friends with the ones that give you favorable reputation so that you're building up your Isakari reputation as well as the ones that you actually want. And then step four, kill the other ones that you do that also give you favorable rep while maintaining your Isakari reputation. And that way you basically um, kind of balance out, hopefully, your reputation with Isakari. You get to make friends with the ones you wanted to um, without having to use love injectors. And it all kind of works out. Locate a fungus forest as you ask. Located between three and seven parasangs of a fungus forest. Wait, what? I'm grateful to the creative aspirant that you are here, traveler. Roaming scientists came to our village the other day. While breaking bread, they spoke of an interesting place. A fungus forest. So I'm finding a fungus forest and my point of reference is also a fungus forest. It's pretty good. Do you have work? Uh, I will find the cracked robotics housing of the consecrated relic in Kiaratara. Kiaratara. To help with a farm work. I have use for it. If you snag it for me, I'll pay for your assistance. Will you? I mean, sure. Um, I'm, I certainly will try. Seeing uh, how things are going these days, I... I'm... All right, so let's do the fungus forest one first. Oh, no, let's do Kiratara first. Because we'll get a bunch of, um... Hopefully we'll get some reputa uh, some experience just for, like, visiting here. But that, that has already... That ship has sailed already. All right, so there's our first little bobble. We'll go back. Nice to start with wayfaring in the dunes, I gotta say. And then um, visit... I think it was our mayor... I haven't located it. Never mind. What's your reputation? Hated by villagers of Tad, loved by the villagers of Kyurak, disliked by bab baboons. Um, kind of sucks to lose reputation with any village. I'll rethink. I'll think about that. Um. All right. So, whoop. I found the cracked robotics housing of the Kronskrid. Yeah. I've, I've already lost my symbiotic firefly, and I'm really bummed about that. I get to name my Isakari banner, though. Mm. I'm gonna... Yeah, I mean, let's just name it something funky. And I'll give it the Isakari colors. Yeah. Because I don't, I don't honestly plan on wearing it for that long. I'll take this disc to the Grit Gate. Alright, so... That's good. Oh, we didn't take our, uh... We didn't do our... Glorious Shekinah. And then... Kill our lad here. Is he already dead? 
Also, I forgot to set our tail as primary. I do that occasionally. Cough every single playthrough. Um, okay, so where is our fungal forest? Journal. Natural features. Fungal forest. Oh, okay, it's there. So that means, um, all right. So our quest is located three to seven, seven parasangs west of the fungus forest. So it's still in the dunes. Uh, of course, we're lost. I, I'm going to be running without... Oh, is that oil? Hey, uh, ink. Why couldn't you be a useful weep? The dragonflies, friends to fungals. The interesting things about, uh, thing about friends to fungals is that I think they also are part of the fungal reputation. So, like, if you're not on good terms with mushrooms, they will attack you even if you're friends with their, like, base reputation. Do we have some mutation points to spend? Yeah, we do. Uh, we can't spend any more. We can put a point in intelligence. Um, we can take... Longblade again. Just a little bit spicy right now. Okay, there we have our a friend to fungal. It doesn't look like they have fickle fickle gill, I don't think. Just gonna go ahead and take care of them. Wow, they are taking me out right now. But we're good. You regain your bearings. Discover a layer. Yeah, sure. We'll, we'll uh, make a note of this layer. Legendary glow pad. Always nice. Hostiles nearby. Okay. Hostiles nearby. Okay. Um, okay, so here's our fungal forest, which is west. So that means we can just go on to the center. So it's five to... What was it? Five to seven? Three to seven pair of things. One, two, three. We'll start here. We're just in the center tile, and we'll just move west. And we'll hopefully find our fungal forest soon. Here's a fungal forest, but not the fungal forest. Ooh, legendary. Oh wait, not not legend. Well, no, there's there's definitely a legendary spider here. Okay, there it is. Loved by arachnids, the Gershen fungi. Disliked by the Isakari tribe. Still, um, that's a lot of things to make friends with right there. And we are part of the Rachnid family, so um, let's go ahead and make a note of this spider. Um, anyway, legend spider friend. This is how I'm going to make a note of things from now on. Oh, uh, is this another legendary spider? Or is this the same one? Mumble mouth. I, I know there's a legendary spider there. I just don't know. Are they following me right now? Oh, they're... Well, I, I can't tell what's a legend right now or what's, like, just a friend to the fungal. That's um, a little bit of a problem with the fungals. Got another fungal zone here. Oh, there it is. We found it. We leveled up. We got some fresh water. We'll collect a bit of that. Uh, let's go ahead and set water, uh, our canteen to auto collect. There we go. I didn't mean to step in that, but it seems like it didn't hurt it. And we'll collect a bit more. S. Auto collect. This is a good way, like, this is a good... If you're wondering why I, I don't automatically auto collect, it's because I have it turned off and I like it that way. Um, but if you want to auto collect water, you still can by setting your container to auto collect. Also, uh, I was not blind to the fact that there's freaking cider here. And cider is worth more than its weight in water. So that was actually a really nice find. Would love to find some oil. I keep hoping that it shows its face here, but it keeps not showing its face. 
But anyway, we have completed our first two quests in pretty good time. Ten minutes? Not bad at all. Um, let's go to our mayor. I have located the fungal forest. You have our thanks. Our village owes you a debt for now. Please choose a reward from our stockpile. Yes! Symbiotic Firefly. I know Corpus Callias, but we can buy that. We can't really buy a Symbiotic Firefly. So uh, I'm actually really excited to have that back. Um, whoops. P floating nearby. Put that in there. Also, let's get rid of this. Also, let's get rid of this. I don't, I don't like, even want anything in my hands for now. Okay. Um... We aren't quite at level 5. It would be nice to get to level 5 just so that we can... Um, get our first rapid advancement. It's kind of not great hanging out in a zone during night time. There we go. I'm just going to, like, visit, the, you know, our bottom kind of zones. Can we? Did we take sword already? I don't think we did. Oh, we don't have lunge. That's... We, we took sword, we didn't take lunge. But we have sting. So we can sting for now. There we go. We leveled up. Uh, almost put our first rapid advancement in heightened quickness, but we wanted in stinger. Engraved. We got some lore. Um, let's actually heal up and get our sting back before we take on another Isakari. Isakari is going to be worth fighting again. I'm not going to even include it in the highlight reel if it's just Isakari. I'll include, like, notable finds, like, you know, extra-dimensional swords, of course. But, uh, nothing else, really. Where is the, uh, robotic place? That's interesting. I hope it didn't get nuked from orbit. Forgotten Ruins. Love me a Forgotten Ruins. Let's see here. Nothing really exciting there. Discover the location of Shewan Homestead. But we didn't get the quest to collect the item there, which is a kind of a bummer. It's always a bummer to me when we get one but not the other. Because it's like, now we have to go and find inform like redundant information. I.e., the location of the place. We got a mysterious stranger. I wonder if they would... No, never mind. Level 6. Um, I'm just fighting some Isakari. Even though we're on good terms with them, they're still a useful tool for leveling up in the early game. There's a uh, Isakari here. Nice thing about the Isakari being your friends is they don't see it coming. So I can uh, kill one that has a ranged weapon without uh, without having to fight them. We're still on good terms with these guys. I don't think I want to pick a fight with this screen. You know the other nice thing, uh, like um, um, you know, subtle th reasons to enjoy being on friends with or good terms with um, Isakari is uh, I don't have to like avoid that tile. You know what I mean, like. Whenever you're there's any hostile on the screen you have to like stop or like move around the tile so I can still auto move Even though there is a curry on the screen. It's quite nice I'm just kind of stinging them and then walking away. My sting is like powerful enough to um, Kill them and uh, they don't really have very much very good AV. So it, it's working out for me This is definitely there's there's definitely a, a village nearby. I just want to make sure I get that village, and it looks like it's gonna- Oh, is this just my village? Am I, like, currently killing my villagers? Oh, yes I am. Oops. Oh well. They don't- they won't know. They- they won't know, as long as there are no... Witnesses. <laughs> Crystal arrow of the reptillary buggy. There ain't, there's no way that that isn't basically a quest item, so I'm just going to go ahead and buy that. It'll be useful later, I'm sure. This will be a useful tool that will come in handy, handy later. Let's see if I can get away with killing this one without the other one. Yeah, if you're far enough away, they just, like, don't notice, which is kind of nice. 
And then I'm gonna go kill this one as well. Or I'm gonna try, but my sting is on cooldown. You discover Kagalep superior. Heck yeah. Uh, two-headed boar. We well, should be able to fight a two-headed boar, but where did they go? There they are. Sting you and then walk away. They can handle my sting, which is fine. Level seven. Go ahead and heal. Take those. And we're good. I mean, there's a little bit more to explore. We're going to have to come in from the top of the tile, though. No, that's kind of it. That really is it. Okay. There's, yeah, nothing here on this right side. So we continue checking out. Ooh. Uh, let's see how this goes. Yeah, I was suspecting that the Dawn Glider was going to pick a fight with that Dromad. They seem to be kind of winning because they can fly. So they might take out the Dromad, in which case they can, like, completely rob them of their goods. Unless uh, the Dawn Glider, like, falls out of the sky and the salt backs just kind of, like, destroy them. Oh, yeah, that is exactly how that went. Okay, you won. Good job. How, how hurt are you? Very tough, neutral, fine. Yeah, you basically didn't get hurt at all. Uh, we have a four-corned helm. I love me a four-corned helm. There's actually some decent stuff here. I'm, a, I'm kind of a fan of a lot of this stuff. We got some chain boots, chain gauntlets, although those kind of nuke our DV right now, and I do, I am a fan of the DV. So we'll take the four-corned helm, and we'll take the small stone, because that's a grit gate. That is a grit gate. Hard stop. And we'll sell all of our daggers, which we have a few of, and our Isakari rifles, which we have enough of. And, uh, yeah, that's going to be enough. We have our Grit Gate Recoiler and, um, other things. You know, we've got a few other things. I kind of, like, if I could just kill this ranged Isakari here, this would be a good screen to take out. Yeah, he's already dead. The other ones are chasing me down, but they can't keep up with me. Um, do we have lunch? Oh, we have enough for lunch. Let's take lunch. Lunch. Sting. Oh. Sting. And then we just... Oh, neither of them got poisoned. Wow, what a twist. Okay, that guy got stung. This guy's getting stung. This guy's getting stung. Ooh, we got some boots. I mean, in the early game, um, robbing Isakari is very fruitful. It's just a really good way to kind of get your, you know, get your get your bearings, get situated, get established. It kind of sucks that that's the way I got to do it, especially when I'm friends with them. But like, you know, that's interesting. If you miss your shot, they don't take it as an aggressive action. It's only when you land your shot that they're like, hey, wait a minute, you're trying to kill me. Um, you know, like, daggers are a good way of getting some money. Ooh, we have Gnus. What kind of reputation do we have with Gnus? Oh, we also have Chitness Pumas. They are almost always on the same screen, aren't they? I don't really want anything to do with this screen. Hated with the Fellowship of Wardens and disliked by the Villagers of Shad. I don't even think I want... I don't think I want anything to do with this. I mean, I'll... I'll make a note of it. Legend... Gnu. Uh, hate wardens. I, I'm making it a note of it in that sense because um, killing them might be worth it for the sweet warden rep. But like, 
What is happening? But like, you know, you got to toss up your your legendary ooh, slint. Uh, don't make enemies to the slint. You got to toss up your your um antelope rep. Is that slint a flying slint? Who are you? What are the slint? What is hydropon? Where is hydropon? Perhaps I shall visit. All right. We know where the hydropon is. I kind of like you guys are are having a little fight, huh? I kind of like finding a slint in the wild. Um, I mean, I guess that's the only way to find it. The easiest way to find a slint is at the six day still because the six day still tends to have like a little bit of everything. But I, I prefer to find the slints in the wild because I f it feels a little bit more natural to their wishes, you know? So what do we got here? Loved by arachnids, disliked by Hinder Nabela, hated by the folk of the colossal shade of Korashur Berio for eating all their fruit, hated by fungi. They are hated by a lot of things. Um, I feel like that second one is a cult. I can't. It's hard to tell. Not they're not villagers. They're they, they must be a cult. They have a slender iron weave cloak and a weird artifact. They've got some good stuff. They're also a legendary uh, void spiraling, so like they're gonna be tough. But we'll make a note here. Um, legend s void spider um, and hated by everyone. <laughs> We'll come back here. This is the same kind of logic I, I think that I apply with the books and potentially also Resha floor. And that is like, um, you know, it's good to kind of hoard things in CUD and then make your, you know, like see how things sift out, see how the, the marbles kind of lay um, before you make a decision on like, who you want to make enemies with because like you might find a spiderling that is just loved by spiders right absolutely no you know nothing wrong it's just loved by spiders and there's no compromise um and so you're like yeah i want to make friends with that spider and you make friends with that spider and you gain the arachnid rep and that way you can um then kill a couple or maybe just like the one legendary spiderling without having to be on bad terms to spiders, right? So like, it's good to like, you know, do a bunch of a safe exploration. And, and this is why the salt desert tends to be the place that I hang out a lot is because it's one of the easiest places to discover legendaries without, you know, getting killed. And then you can uh, you can make your decision afterward. Like, okay, who do I want to make friends with? Who do I want to kill? Who do I want to make friends with? Okay, this is a good screen for training. You guys, here, I'll help you here. There you go. Mysterious strangers are pretty good at reputation. Oh wow, that amoeba took out that Isakari. We leveled up, I'm killing more Isakari friends. We found ourselves a glow sphere. Uh, those are pretty much worthless. Uh, we have some more skill points. I'm gonna take cooking and gathering and carbide chef, and I'm also gonna take butchery. Cause uh, if I can potentially kill a dawn glider, ooh, this is a spicy. Are these chitinous pumas gonna run towards me? Am I close enough? Let's uh, check out the reputation on this lad. Loved by antelopes, hated by unshelled reptiles. Why? Well, I mean, honestly, that's pretty good. Um, legend Gnu, hated by reptiles. I don't, I don't, all right, fine. I'll put reptiles. Okay, we're leaving this tile, but um, good to make a note of that one. Uh, there's a nice dong glider here. I wouldn't mind trying to take that one out. 
Do we have enough ammo, though? We have 34 shots. That's probably not enough, but we can try it. Yes! They didn't drop a corpse, so we don't get the dong glider tail. That is a bummer. You discover Kagalep to stall. Heck yeah, bud. I always love me a uh, Kagalep to stall. To stall? Found a weird artifact. A glow sphere. Where was that? Bear jerky? Sure, why not? Why not, bear jerky? To stall. Like a distillery? Love me a distillery. Love to distill. Alright, we're just gonna move on. Oh, Agashan. Ooh, there's lots of bronze nuggets here. Which is quite nice. We've got some thirst thistles. Thirst thistles are kind of a pain, I won't I will say. Get rid of those before anything else. Oh, are we out of ammo? Yeah, we are. That must be a new sound effect. I don't remember the little beeps and boops. We're on good terms with centipedes. All right. We got some reshef lore. We got some other lore. We could kill some centipedes for a little bit of um, experience. Or or I could just miss. Uh, let's put Butcher Corpse on the back end here, because I don't want to see it on my cool bar, to be honest. Okay, so now we're going back down. Ah, another legendary spider. Disliked by villagers of Shawar. Okay, so there you go. This is a great example. I, I, I like the villager rep, but I'm willing to sacrifice a little bit, um, especially especially if it's only disliked, in order to make friends with uh, with this lad. We don't have the means just yet, um, so let's go ahead and make a note of this. Uh, legend spider friend. All right, we continue on our journey. Swell with the inspiration to cook a mouth-watering meal. Fantastic. Do we have, like, any of the means? No, we don't. Um, I need to get some vine wafer sheaf and all kinds of stuff. I should probably do that. Let's just go to our still. We're very close. We get some experience. We level up to level 9. We're getting, getting, uh, very fast progress here. Discover the location of Shesh Palace and the quest, but not the recover the item. Let's. I'm gonna hand in my Reshef lore because it's really not worth anything right now. 750 XP. It's it's like so pathetically low. Aha! Our uh, librarian is a goat folk, which is nice. We have a couple of books. Oh, I should have taken a chest. I, I did not, but we don't have enough books to really hand in. Let's uh, see what our Pope has. Loved by Mechanimus, admired by the uh, Daughters of Exile, hated by the Seekers of the Sightless Way. That kind of sucks. That sucks a little bit. I wouldn't mind making friends with them. Um, do I want to have a quick look through our stilt? Whoa. We have an Icar Merchant. You, who doesn't really have anything right now. What? What was, what was that? Oh, I see. Someone put down a bunch of... Um, yeah, they, they continue to put down a bunch of turrets. Are these also Mechanimus? Eigen turrets. The, thank God they're neutral to me. Good lord. I wonder if... Uh, I mean, I know the answer to this question, but I wonder if swiping them counts as a aggressive action. Wouldn't mind getting a eyeless crab shell as for our shield. 
but I'm not going to worry about it right now. We have a gunslinger here. Not great stores just yet. Hat, shoe. Lots of shoes. Hookah. Lithofix. Nothing nothing too exciting here, I gotta say. Oh, uh, first schematic salesman. That's nice. We've got a couple Gersh. Booster bot. Here's our first schematic salesman. Nice. Is it... Is it just me or is it very common for uh, schematic salesmen to sell leather moccasins like it seems like it's it's a thing that happens quite a lot we have a second schematic salesman which is nice Ooh, a uh, chef that's actually what i really want right now um i'll buy mirror dust cycle gland paste soul curd i suppose um star apple jam is the main one i don't think i guess i'll buy vine way 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 for sheaf because I don't really want to have to deal with like going and finding some. And I'll sell two glow spheres and ooh, that's a lot of money. It adds up. It adds up. People occasionally ask me why do you, I collect daggers? That's why. They're very light and uh, they eventually make up quite a lot of money. All right, that's um, that's gonna be. I guess that's gonna be the episode. I don't know how short these are because I, I don't know how much gets cut, but uh, I'll continue by exploring our, our our salt desert in the next episode, and we'll continue making notes of things, and uh, hopefully I won't die in a very dumb way. But if you're enjoying the series, definitely hit the like button and consider subscribing for more content like this. I'll see you guys next time. Take it easy.